Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. We are continuing our playthrough of All Quiet in the Trenches on Hardcore Mode. Now that we have the battle update. And we are back in camp. After some pretty rough times. We are all very exhausted. How can we help you? We are short of firewood. And you are giving me a church service. How are we doing? We'll take good care of Mech. I like to hear it. He has a good recovery. There is hope. We do now have bad weather, however. And what else do we have going? But the rats keep coming. Standard rations, please. Not probably a good idea with my food problems. These villagers are suspect. I keep hearing stories of attacks by Frank Tourers on our comrades along the front. Organize some patrols through the village. Hair onto officer. And how long till our next shipment? For at least a month. Okay, 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 okay. Now, we do have laundry duty. Now, one of you guys did go and tell me in the comments. I can get her to do laundry duty. Now, she hates me, however. Uh, I'm going to demand help. Because I don't think she'll offer help. Because, as I said, they hate me. There's one job off the list. I've only, however, got three soldiers. So... Uh, how to go, how to go, how to go. I might have to skip through on pest control. Um, I could do with mail back. He should be pretty... Yeah, he should be back next turn, hopefully. This means I can't really... I'm risking collapse gambles everywhere. Have you go and chop some firewood. Physically fit, I love it. See if we can get firewood for more than a turn, maybe. I don't want to have to chop firewood every single turn, I'll tell you that much. That's an extra job that simply needs to be done. Um, I can't steal firewood off the villagers. I don't think there's anybody here. There's church service. Not going to get it through the kitchen. Okay. Going up to standard rations. Do I dare push it up to double with rats and supply over a month away? I don't think so. Let's hit next turn. Positive events decreased. Negative events removed. We like that. And collapse has removed. Ooh, we're up to five soldiers. And we get a chance to go to the pub. However, I feel like people will have a problem with this. Mail is ready for duty again. That's good. And tell me, I handle the rats on my own. Supply is running low. Let's go back down to meager rations, because I can give them standard by gifting. Oh, why would you bring up the latrine right now? Iron Carsbrook doesn't have any jobs for me. All my days, that is amazing. Um, right, so what we want to do, we unfortunately have latrine duties. Sorry, mail. We have pest control, which will be these two. And then we've got a trip to the pub. They're both very tolerant. One's fairly sociable. This might go well. Probably not. You never know. And we've got one in the field hospital. Now, I did just say meager rations, so let's put them all back up to normal rations and give them... Some positive events. Oh, especially Lots. He is having a bad day. Positive events added. That's what I like to see. Okay, morale's okay. Prestige is okay. Go ahead and hit next turn. What have we got? Once again, I made my usual rounds through our camp. That's when Lukton von Karsbrook beckoned me over. Good to see you. I wanted to have a word with you anyway. He got straight to the point. Your troop was kindly and, in my opinion, completely unfoundedly granted home leave. ka -ching. I nodded at him wordlessly. Give him nothing. First, I wanted to wait and see if there wasn't a catch. And indeed, after a brief frown, he gruffly added, 
but I don't want you and your men to feel like you're on holiday just yet. I expect you to make up for the lost working hours in advance. Yes, Herr Lieutenant, whatever you say, just leave me alone. Talking back would only lead to more work for my people. Then I hurried on before he could think of anything else. Afterwards, I immediately delivered the good news of their leave to my men. I'm not going to tell them about the extra work. I didn't mention the extra work that had been announced. For now, they should just be able to look forward to their upcoming furlough. Which they did. And in turn, and it turned into a cheerful, lively evening. The likes of which we hadn't had for a long time. Okay, he's still in the field hospital. How is he doing? Still wounded. He is... He's my problem child, this place. With low supply stock added. We... If we get rid of the rats, please say. Ah, oh, so many rats. Rats and mank. They're the bane of this playthrough. Standard rations added. Negative events added. Fair enough. Tired added. Positive events increased. Change to exhausted. Fair enough. How about these? Did these? They didn't even... They just spent some good old time at the pub and they got no recovery. That's just painful. Okay, seven turns until leave. On guard's work. We are on guard duty for prisoners. Anything else? We are short of firewood. Now I feel like we didn't have to do this last turn. I'm going to assume that's because Pedersen is just great at doing it. Now we have five people and five jobs. Can we please get rid of the rats? Because we are dangerously close. Uh, we're risking collapse. We're risking collapse of anything, really. Uh, fairly tolerant people that are exhausted. Hopefully you can... It doesn't... doesn't it's not tiring to guard captives. So hopefully you'll be okay. And let's have you two on pest control. Karabut loves hunting rats. Lives for it, I tell you. Lives for it. Uh, let's put you up to normal rations. Definitely don't want to drop down to meager rations. Let's do that by the good old reward system. Now this cold snap, I'd love it if that left. That is, it's exhausting. And it is having a pretty big hit. Oh, this guy doesn't even care about the cold. Love it. It is having a pretty nasty, wow. A very nasty effect on my men. Be nice if having firewood was able to offset that a little bit. So although it's cold, we are having to stop ourselves from freezing, so you know. And then that would also give a consequence to not getting the firewood. Although it probably has a consequence anyway, but... Let's hit next turn and pray for good things. Oh look, it's suddenly sunny again. Maybe not, we're still in the middle of January. Uh, nobody has collapsed. The whole group is exhausted, this is true. Major's planning an attack. Prepare your men for battle. Herr Unteroffizier. Herr Unteroffizier! I have been told that your soldier Lotz has barely lifted a finger. You are ordered to expand the rear trenches. Anything else? Work before you went home? Yes, I did. Wow. This guy hates me. I feel like I need to get a day off. We're in an engagement next turn. Ask for a favor. Please. Please. No, damn it! And I'm still going to lose prestige for asking. Five people's worth of jobs and they're all exhausting. Man, I hate that guy. And we have no food supplies. Fantastic. No prestige added. Hospital full added. And he now has bad recovery. I think we've gotten rid of the rats. Yes, but we've just... Of course we've gotten rid of the rats. We've run out of food. Uh, half of them are probably about to collapse on me. Sorry, guys. I did do not give me latrines. We are short of firewood. I can't really do much about that right now. And we're short of food. And we're short... Anyone got any extra soldiers lying around that they, uh, they can spare? Meng's wound is getting worse. If we could only spare some people out of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that we've already need. So, yeah, if we could have an extra four soldiers from a neighboring camp, that would be nice. Um... I have to try and keep my prestige up. So wish he'd given us a break. Ah, oh, I could have done things with a break. So many things. Right, half of my guys are going to collapse. Um, 
Let's see what happens. And of course, let's go and put them all on standard rations. Makes them all a little bit happier. I'm not chopping firewood. I know you need a break. We all need a break. It turns up in six turns time. Oh, we have to get through the trenches first. He has gone from contemptuous to neutral. That's good. That is good. Good, 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 good. Oh, this hurts so much. Lots had been getting drunk all the evening with some of his comrades. But it was only late when all of a sudden he bellowed into the crowd. The oh, bollocks! How much longer are we supposed to croak here in the mud for this bloody war? Now, apologies, that sounded very... Uh, British. The, ink, the soldiers around him fell silent. Some looked over at me. It was my job to be there for him. Let's see if I can stop him from potentially deserting me. I got up, sat down next to him, put a hand on his shoulder and said to him, Soldier, you mustn't lose heart. We need you here just as much as any of your comrades. Sleep it off and tomorrow you will already look brighter again. You're right, he mumbled, then staggered into his tent. After a while... The other soldiers have resumed their conversations, and soon they too retreated to their tents. Oh, there's more. <laughs> I don't like it. For days now, Cameron Bunch has been sitting next to his comrades every evening without a word and without with a vacant stare. He neither discussed with them, nor did he take part in the usual evening entertainment such as playing cards. The tasks assigned to him were also carried out in a dull and listless manner. I spoke to him about it. I sat down next to him and addressed him. Is everything all right with you, Cumberbund? He looked up at me from his empty eyes. Then he sighed and replied, hair unto officier, what is it all this for? What's the point of us being here? Your comrades need you. See, does he care about people? He is sociable and he is compassionate. Done. Your comrades need you. I replied, try to be strong for them. He straightened his soldiers. Maybe you're right. And I shouldn't let myself go like this. After all, we're all in this mess together and hopefully we'll also manage to come out of it together. We sat together in silence for a few more moments. Then Cumberbund got up and wished me a good night. In the following days, he seemed a little less withdrawn. Maybe my words had helped him a bit. Or maybe it had just been a matter of time. Oh, flip next three events in one week. Just too much. One evening, I saw Pedersen hunched over a little campfire. A few of the other men were about, watching him with various degrees of interest. As I approached, they dispersed and I could make out just what he was doing there. Two rats were roasting on spits over crackling flames. I put an end to this hazardous behavior. Oh, we need food. With impunity. On the many germs and diseases that rats were known to carry. And what are we supposed to do with how meager our rations are? Starve, Pedersen grumbled, just as I had turned. <gasps> the cold snap is gone! Except our morale still completely and utterly got destroyed. Probably because bad recovery removed. Oh, fantastic. Oh, because we're going to the trenches, that's why. Physically fit, tide of war, change to jaded, tide of war, pitiful rations, change to strained. Bad mood added. Cold snap removed. No prestige. We made it up to average prestige. Maybe that'll help things. We're freezing our asses off and we have nothing to burn. We urgently need firewood. But you don't. You really don't. We're marching in to battle. Oh, to battle. Oh, no. Oh, no. I def I thought I was going to the trenches. I definitely can't uh, survive a battle, I don't think. What's the point? Is Menk with me again? Has he just got negative effects from things? One, two, three. No, he's not. I've got five people. Okay. Uh, I feel like we're on attack. And I feel like I'm going to be walking very slowly. Trench is currently barely guarded. We'll therefore launch a quick surprise attack today. The order is to capture the enemy trench quickly before the reinforcements arrive. I'm counting on you. Quick, you say? Hmm. By that, do you mean as slow as I can walk? Do you say? Uh, no, I can't walk forward very much. What have I got? Attempted to hit a tactical, if I'm honest. 
and pick up some supplies. Let's skip across. Because these guys are kind of in the way, so I want them to move. Let's search some crates. There you go, see what I mean? We can move up now. And so now these guys have... gotten... a bit in front of me. I'm gonna... I can do a bit of chasing, basically, because they should be drawing the fire. And I should be able to run up with a bit more... freedom, hope, success. I'm not quite sure. Your squad is far behind. Catch up. I was... Uh, I'm going. Ay, ay, ay. I was able to find some ammunition. Good. We're good on ammunition. How far can I advance? Not too much. Let's get going. Hopefully my comrades keep moving as well. Have you cut through that barbed wire? Get yourself through that. I don't even think they're trying, to be honest. Which means they're just in the way. Uh, that's not a great place to be. Oh, one of them just went down. I can, however, get here, and I think... Oh, elevated terrain. Yeah, let's get onto the bridge then. I mean, these guys, they're just not moving, quite frankly. Oh, they have two guys down. That's not going to help them. Oh, we're in! Beautiful! Get in there, lads. Oh, I think they won that exchange as well. I am definitely following them in. The French reinforcements are about to arrive. We need this trench to fend off the soldiers. Uh, I am being flanked, so let's not stay here. Let's... I want to get forward as much as possible, but... Oh, so much danger. All these guys on the right will be targeting me. Surely these guys are uh, about to be seen off by my men. He's, he's pushed himself up. The others are left behind. High danger. High danger. Ooh, there's a wounded German soldier. There's a corpse in the area. There is a bit of equipment. We do go into grenade range. I think we're in physical range because of that. Uh, we have to do it. Charge. Just, <laughs> if somebody doesn't get shot, then Cumberbund is definitely holding 10 church services when we get back. Oh, we got separated. But he'll join us again. Not to worry. Now, please give me one more turn to get in the trench. Hey, bayonets fixed. They're injured. They're still going. I'm going to slip in behind them, I think. Oh no, he's gonna slip in. Or is he? I'm not quite sure. Oh, very nice. Oh, and here as well. Oh, come on, lads. You are doing beautifully. Oh, no, that one didn't go quite so well. Lots couldn't catch up with us. He will shortly. Don't you worry about that. Uh, okay, they're blocking that passage. But, uh, two bits of cover, two bits of cover, but narrow. Yeah, let's get right in there. Only puts me down to moderate danger. So let's get in that trench. We need to take this trench and we need to take it quickly. And then let's start throwing those grenades left, right, and center. Hey, slide down those ladders. Oh, did we lose another guy? Oh, well, we're going to stop here and let everyone catch up. And these guys are getting some grenades thrown right from behind them. Just harder to take, so the plan hasn't changed. Forward with you. Drive out the French. Cole was wounded on the way here. Oh, that's not good. Take the next trench. Uh, I believe I'm in said trench for being over the whole position. Throw a grenade. Mail. Uh... Get Colin into cover. And be Pedersen. Uh, so I can't be firing on sight or anything else. I've got some Germans to my right for cover. Okay, okay. 
Okay, okay. I've got these guys on my left and these guys. Where are you going? Get back here. We're going to throw a grenade at these guys and see what we're going to do. Let's start bringing everybody in. And there's lots. Oh, that looked like just a miss. Can we see ours? Come on, male. Don't let me down. Ah, you missed as well. Hopefully scared them, though. They just missed. I saw, my friend. I saw. Uh, he's returning to troop. Where is he? He's back here. First aid for Cone. Oh, my other two guys are clumsy. <laughs> but I really want to throw a grenade as well. Um, what's more important? All right, Pedersen. Just, just do me proud. <laughs> First aid for Cone. Male, we need you. And... In fact, you know what, then? No, I'm going to have you fire on sight instead. We will remove the grenade throw. Let's get Hone back here. We've still got our Germans here. We've got a couple of lost soldiers returning here. Let's keep things moving. Go on, fire that gun, Pedersen. You can do it. Come on, Pedersen. I believe in you. Fire the gun. Fire... Ah, never mind. He, 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 he wasn't feeling it. He just... He wasn't feeling it. Okay, we're not pushing them back. They are still very much... Oh, no. Uh, no, this guy's... He's crawling away somewhere. These two guys are going to come and join. Oh, these guys are getting squished out. Oh, and it looks like it worked. Yeah, it looks like the Germans got the better of that one. So this left side, I think, is doing really well. Hey, Lotz is back. First aid for Colm still. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and finish off those guys. Uh, those guys are out of range. So we'll simply put... We've still got lots of ammunition. Put you two guys on fire on sight again. We'll stop here on officer. Come on, Pedersen, you can fire the rifle. It works, I promise you. Wow, my grenade. Two missed grenades. Did you see that, folks? They are. Oh, hello. They are a lucky bunch. We're uh, we're about to be blindsided here. And here's me, all out of grenades. I was able to stop Combs bleeding. I must have misjudged the distance. The wound hurts so much. He, oh, he has to go back to the field hospital. That sucks a little bit. Uh, we're all out of grenades. We're going to have to suppress these guys. And for escorting him, it's going to be the guy that's not faltering, funny enough. Oh, these guys... No, they're being suppressed. I thought, that, I thought that I was showing I was flanking them. Uh, so those guys have been taken care of. So we've got the left side of the trench. Just... I don't think we're doing too good on the right side, if I'm honest. Um, trench seem to be holding out pretty well over there. And I'm sure these guys are going to charge through all of my suppressing fire. French soldiers limping back. Oh, someone just went down to my right, but I can't see who. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, he's escorting Colm to the field hospital. Let's fire back. Uh, way too dangerous. I'll keep my head down. But I, yes, demand obedience. How dare you? I'm firing back at these guys. We've got these guys here. Let's have a grenade or something, guys. Let's let's have some love. Uh, yeah, these these guys on the right could be a bit of a problem. Let's 
I'd love these guys to lose a grenade. At that range, they have to hit. Come on, stop turning my camera. Let me see what's going on. Ah. That's something... I'm not These guys on the left need to get back involved. That is something they do need to improve, is uh, this random, just non-stop rotating camera. <laughs> Highly annoying. Out of breath removed. Out of breath added. Pressed removed. Keep on firing. I've still got ammunition. It's okay. I mean, I can't take on a troop of six in melee. I need these guys on the right. To, uh, I need them. I need these guys on the left to get involved. Really. They just sat there. They're not doing anything. Oh. We've got another troop of uh, Frenchies at the back. And they're fighting to their right. I don't want to be here. I don't want to die. We need you. I don't want to fail my comrades. I'll try. Um. Hey, they've moved. Where'd they go? Oh, they're up there. Fantastic. Need these guys to swing around. There's there's French people in this back trench that need need to be removed. Mother, please, I need you. Oh, we got him panicking. That's not good. Let's have you two go to fire on sight. Um, I need these guys to do something about these French guys. Uh, but we've got these French guys here, and I think there's some more up there. We're um, it's not going great. Not going great. And I would love a grenade. Any, uh, any supplies lying around? Doesn't seem like it. No, no supplies. I can see another grenade coming. Yes! We've got two of them to run away at least. Hopefully straight into the arms of the uh, Germans at the back. But there's another squad who I cannot see. Yes, this rotating camera uh, really needs to be fixed. Oh no. Oh good, he missed. Terrible grenade. Just the way I like it when they're thrown in my direction. Uh, he's still panicking, is he? He's highly stressed, we'll give him that much. Uh, he's still escorting him to the field hospital. How slow are they? Uh, I can see a general retreat being called in a minute. I don't know how this is going to go. Uh, we've still got these guys there. We've def There's some of our troops back there somewhere. I can't see them. He's on medium stress. Menk is on medium stress. He's not even in the fight. What's he stressed about? We've got four people here. Two did run away. Now, if we can get rid of them, I mean, we've got our guys coming around the back as well. If we can get rid of them, we might be able to swing this side of the trench. Oh, we've got a wounded guy crawling away. I suppose there's another grenade that can land in that hole, is there? Nope, they're firing in the opposite direction, I think. Oh, we're kind of at a bit of a stalemate, really. Uh, well, he should be back at the field hospital. He's returning to troops. Um, Karambat is still panicking. Oh, they're down to three soldiers. Getting a little bit better. We are also about to run out of ammunition. And there's not really anything around here to help us. So... Things are about to become dire, people. Things are about to become dire indeed. Oh, there's another one running away. That's good. Well, they're already supposed to run three anyway, so I'm not quite sure where that fourth one's from. Oh, and somebody threw a grenade in there. Oh, somebody went down. I hear the screaming again. It was not one of these guys. Oh, we've got a bit of melee in the back lines. I have no idea who won. Uh, I think... Think we did? I can't be sure. I don't know. It was so sort of sparing, but I think I can go on. We're glad to hear it. Let's... 
That does use a lot of ammunition. I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, lots can hide for one turn. As he's just been to the field hospital, you know, I don't suppose he could have picked up a crate of ammunition on the way back, could he? That'd be nice. Um, and I really wish someone would grenade these guys. I wish I had a grenade to grenade these guys. I was too busy trying to help my troops over here who have now... I don't know, they're over here somewhere. Uh, they are they are winning. They're pushing through this back trench, but unfortunately we've got this knot of men annoying us. I mean, if we could get rid of these guys. Likely wounded added. Well, that's not good. I don't know how, because these guys haven't shot me. And nobody else is taking any shots at me either. Um, dead French soldier. Fair enough. I think I might move across. It does leave these guys a little bit, but... I kind of need to go looking for some ammunition right now, to be honest. And a grenade would be wonderful. These guys are just in there. Let's, let's move along to there. These guys can deal with these guys. Maybe if I'm not here, they'll actually do something about them. Oh, I heard screaming. It sounded like it came from my left. And my right, to be honest. Oh, I think they did. They got one. See? I leave and they do something. Uh, how are we doing here? Oh, we got some Germans in the background there. We got some Germans here. Tactical movement, retreat. Uh, oh, we can move forward. That gives us a height advantage, but not much else. We got some guys back here. I'm not quite sure what they're up to. They're not part of these. Uh, our other set of guys, I think. Let's. Yeah, can you guys keep taking out those? And. Is a dead French soldier. Now, obviously, I can't take his ammunition. Because I don't think our stuff's compatible. You've got these guys just holding, again, a couple of well placed grenades. And we would have this. I think they're the only two squads left. And we'd have this trench. Uh, I'm going to go for it. Let's press them. Hopefully, our guys in the background, or these guys. These guys should be missing them. Oh, wait, there's more. Some more trench around the corner. These guys are just happy to sit in the hole. They're mostly being ignored, to be fair. Are we out of ammo yet? No, we're not. We're being suppressed, mind you. Uh, I'm going to take cover, to be honest. For a turn. And see what happens. Now, it's annoying because you just can't dislodge them. I mean, I feel, you know, that I, he wasn't even being healed, and he just stood back up. Uh, they're being shot at, they're being dislodged. Uh, we've got a German set of troops back here that are anti back here that are just, I don't even know what they're doing. Uh, these guys are back up on four soldiers. These guys are still on five. We've got, I think there's more up that way as well. Change to few bandages available. Why? I didn't patch anybody up. Why am I using bandages? That's a bit weird. Um. No, stress is definitely not going down. I'll tell you that much. I'm gonna just continue to hide for another turn. See what happens. See if Pedersen turns up. Everybody's just... I don't know if these guys, they're just they're out of ammo or something. Like, they're just, they're very happy to be where they are. Pedersen, Pedersen. No, he didn't just turn up. Pedersen, I assume. Probably come over the bridge. I can't see him anywhere. I don't 
quite know where he's hiding. Uh, let's put a couple of guys... ...on... ...fire on sight again. And let's go next turn. If these guys charged in, I reckon they can take them. Oh, you got one of them. Very nice. Oh, I had some more screaming from down here. I don't know if that was us or them. Oh, wh where'd they suddenly pull a grenade from? Retreat. The enemy has the upper hand. Aye. Uh... Hey, we can get some, uh, some supplies. Retreat to the rear trench. That's apparently too far back. That's too far back. That's too far back. Everywhere is too far back. Because of these guys up here making our average further forward than it needs to be. Right, let's see what we can do at least. Nearly everything's too far back, so let's just hold position. I don't have any ammunition anyway, so... That's run out. You know what? I am going to go and run backwards. Prestige be damned. I'm going to hold there for a position so people can catch me up. But I'm going to basically go and get myself some ammunition. Prestige be damned. They've just moved forward. It's always interesting. They moved back a bit. Not so fast. Well, what am I supposed to do? We've run out of ammunition. I'm hit, but it doesn't hurt that much. Let's simply stay where we are. I'm hoping I can't get hit by being too far behind twice. Because I'm already here, so... Oh, the French are coming forward. Oh, that's, that's going to hurt those retreating Germans. Now I shouldn't be too far forward. Look at these guys. They're back. Yeah, those guys just got taken out. We've run out of ammunition. Oh, did you not find anything? Alright, fair enough. Um, let's, let's do a tactical to the side. Further away from everybody, technically. But not too far backwards. We've run out of ammunition, I know that much. Let's just... No, let's keep moving as far as possible. What all my colleagues are doing. <laughs> there is definitely no orderly retreat to any of this. Now, nobody should be shooting at me, quite frankly, because I don't even know who the nearest French troops are. Don't tell me, we've run out of ammunition. I know, mail. I know. Too far backwards, too far backwards. Take another little step backwards. Let's get out of the river. Nobody likes being stood in a riverbed when there's uh, people shooting at you. I know. I know. Everybody is nearly mutinous, quite frankly. Yeah, let's just keep skipping ourselves backwards. And I still don't know where Pedersen's gone. Oh, wait, is that him? Have I just found him? 
Uh, an annoying camera angle is not helping. I think I found him. There he is. I don't know where he got stuck. Uh, that's too far backwards, apparently. Okay, the retreat point is too far backwards. We will... They're already in there. I'm actually going to go across to get a bit closer to who I think is Pedersen. Who may or may not... I think he's actually stuck. Like, he claims he's trying to rejoin us. He is, he's stuck. I reckon he's been there for the whole fight. Let's go pick him up. <laughs> I reckon he's been there for the whole fight, ladies and gentlemen. I would recognize his chubby cheeks anywhere. That's definitely Pedersen. <laughs> Well, uh, things are terrible. I think we are about five weeks away from, um, away from home leave. And that, of course, is the end of the episode. These battles are getting really long, folks. I mean, generally, I always found that the camp phases were the longest. But these battles at the moment, with all the extras they put in them, they, uh, they definitely do now have more meat to them. And so with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you as always for joining me. I hope you are enjoying it. Pray. Hope. Um, I don't know if we can make it to the end without losing a soldier at this point. We, like I said, have about five weeks to go. <laughs> there's, there's a slim chance. Everything is falling apart. I think I've pushed the edges too far for too long. And now we're getting towards the end. Everything is just collapsing in on itself. But we'll see what we can do. And so until next time, as for always, that just leaves me to say, but until we see you again, I hope that you can stay safe, happy, and healthy.